So here's your brain, and it's full of fluid. But the fluid doesn't just completely flood your brain. So then, how exactly does it all get around? Well, we have a set of hollow spaces that the fluid can travel through. And this network of hollow spaces is called the ventricular system. The ventricular system is made up of five parts. Ready? We have the lateral ventricle, the third ventricle, the cerebral aqueduct, the fourth ventricle, and the central canal of the spinal cord. Once again, that's the lateral ventricle, the third ventricle, the cerebral aqueduct, the fourth ventricle, and the central canal of the spinal cord, or just central canal. Now the fluid that flows through these ventricles is called cerebral spinal fluid, and it's made of specialized proteins and glucose, and we know how much the brain loves glucose. The cerebral spinal fluid is being made constantly by the choroid plexus because it is always being absorbed throughout the brain. So now, what happens if the system gets blocked? Well, the pressure of fluid will push on the skull, and the head can actually get bigger. But what age does this primarily happen with? Babies. In fact, it's about one in every 500 births. To solve this problem, a tube will be inserted into the baby's brain, and the fluid will drain into the rest of the body. So you're left with a happy baby. Thanks for watching, and now you know all about the ventricular system.